Everyone was dead keen and dead beat too, I should think. Early crowds getting a Farnborough preview saw the handy page 115, foreshadowing supersonic air travel. The world famous show opened in unlucky weather, but interest was nonetheless for that. A fallen gnat and a formidable display of weapons for military aircraft. Bloodhound missiles ready to be unleashed and apparently eager to go. And Blue Streak, which may be the main stage for a European space satellite launcher. Newcomer in the Beagle range takes off. This offers luxury travel for top executives with a range of about a thousand miles at 200 miles an hour. Nice and cozy for a business trip. Another type in the Beagle pack is the Beagle Oster 11, designed as a flying observation post for the Army. Training aircraft at the show include Jet Provosts, seen here with a two-seater Lightning. The Provost was a pioneer in jet training. The two-seater Hunter is an operational advanced trainer. Hunters, of course, have served all over the world in many variations. And another advanced trainer used by the Royal Air Force, the two-seater Nat. Civil aircraft, the Handy Page Dart Herald, a first class multi purpose transport in full production for several airlines. The Victor Bomber hardly needs an introduction, well known as a powerful unit in Britain's contribution to Western defence. HP-115 is a research aircraft, a supersonic airliner in miniature, an arrowhead pointing to the future of passenger flight. A spectacular free fall by six RAF instructors is a big thrill laid on whenever weather permits. Royal Navy contribution to this great show is formation flying by number 800 squadron of Scimitar Strike Fighters. <laughs> Last but very far from least, number 74 squadron Lightnings of the Royal Air Force. The best place to see these twice the speed of sound fighters is up above the clouds. They provide one of the finest examples of British aircraft construction, and there's plenty of that to be seen at Farnham.